Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I want to wish you all a Merry, Merry Christmas. If you enjoy, if you celebrate that holy day, I want to send a Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa to everybody tuning in and tapping in. So I was, um, you know, just pre-shuffling, getting into the energy, listening to music as I do as a clap audience. Um, and four cards flew out during the uh, pre-shuffle. Um, and the song that's playing right now is called Tangible Prospects by my daughter. Check her music out. Um, but the cards that flew out were very interesting. First was Life is Good. And it says, what you put out, you get back. And then we have Karma Dharma. You reap what you sow, sow in good faith. Then we have Laws of Attraction, Manifesting My Dreams, Hopes and Desires. And then Mama Oshun, Beauty, Love, Attraction. And it says, you sex a thing, you. So this right here, this energy is very powerful because it's really um, speaking to the, the space that you're in right now where you're just very, very confident. Um, you've really broken free from a lot of negativity um, because done is on the bottom of the deck along with frenemies, enemy, you know, frenemies, they don't really rock with you right underneath that. So you've cut yourself free you know, um, Scorpio is from a lot of toxic energy. And I feel like you're now coming into what's rightfully yours. You know, you're coming into a cycle that's going to be very prosperous, very prop, uh, very uh, prosperous and abundant, very fruitful for you. Um, I feel like there's a sense of synergy, a sense of knowing that you can manifest your hopes and dreams. And it's so much so as this divine feminine, Mama Oshun, she naturally attracts what she wants because not only is she beautiful, but she's also very powerful. She knows her worth, her value. She's loving, nurturing. She's a master manifester. She's an alchemist. She's the magician. She's the high priestess all in one. And I feel like you are finding yourself attracting a lot of beautiful things to you because you are vibrating higher. This is like now you're reaping what you sowed. So a lot of you stayed um, very righteous in your acts, very just in your acts. And I feel like now there's some good karma coming back to you all. Right now we have Billy Bio and the train is going by. So this is confirmation for some of y'all. And this song is called One Spliff a Day. So I feel like, you know, with the spliffs, you know, people who smoke J's and joints, it makes you very relaxed. It makes you very at ease, very calm. Um, so many of you are feeling a sense of calm, a sense of peace. Life is good for y'all. Y'all are not stressing nothing, sweating nothing. Y'all ain't even perturbed by anything because it's like your vibration has like, it's catapulted you into a whole different frequency. So it's like, you're not even, you're not even like checking for this type of energy. That's why you've set a boundary. This is like you walking away from what no longer serves you. You know, this is you cutting yourself free from soul ties, karmics, you know, breaking free from, uh, you know, codependent situations, any type of negative um, belief systems, any type of negative, negative behaviors. Um, you know, I feel like y'all are just really finding your peace, your calm. And um, you're finding your peace and calm because you was dealing with a lot of deception. You know, this is like jealous, envious. Look at this energy under here. So many of you were very aware. You know, some of y'all implemented like, you know, spiritual baths to break free, to break the yoke, to break those generational curses. But you did change your frequency and your energy. And that's why now you got a lot of, a pop, you know, um, positive things that's flowing to you. It's like you're, you're manifesting these things because of you changing your vibration. Um, so, you know, you, you saying I'm done and walking away from what no longer serves you absolutely shows that you have a sense of self-love, that you have a sense of respect, self-respect, dignity. And so this is the type of energy that you all are on right now. Um, some of y'all may like to cheat because we got Billy Bio one split a day. Um, but welcome to anyone who may be new. As I said, my two is my name is um, Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm also intuitive. I'm a clear audience, and I am empathic. So I do pick up on the energies of the cards through music, and they do tend to blend beautifully uh, within the reading. This is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Uh, this is also timeless. So whenever you find yourself like clicking on the video. That is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, so let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. 
I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, ascended masters, animal totems, earth mother Gaia, universe source, the divine to shine a beautiful, powerful message of love and life for our beloved Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So you got good karma coming in. I feel there's a flow. Um, I do feel there's a sense of, you know, balance. This is the uh, Trinity uh, card, which represents life. This is the Ankh. Uh, the Ankh represents life because this represents the round portion, represents the woman's womb. This here represents the um, fallopian tubes, and this very felicious energy represents masculine energy. So I do feel like there's a sense of like balance, like you're you're like in a very zen mode. You know, you're very well balanced, well rounded. You feel grounded. You feel in alignment, like spiritual alignment, connectivity. Um, this is beautiful energy that I'm picking up on my beloved Scorpios, especially now that we're closing out the year, we're wrapping it up. And so I do feel like, you know, with that done, done, Finn, um, you're wrapping up, um, some of those karmic relationships, some of those toxic relationships that are not serving your highest good. So we got to run away and I'm going to pick that up. See that? So you got some folks, soon as I said, you are wrapping up those cycles. This is what these individuals are doing. You know what I'm saying? This is that energy that's like, you know what I'm saying? People really, um, you know, look in others or look to others and they will compare themselves to other people. And when they feel like they're not on that person's level or when they feel like, you know, somebody's getting um, rewarded or being blissed in a way that, that makes them feel a certain type of way, makes them feel, you know, almost like jealous, envious, you know. Um, and so this could be energies that is like working against you behind the scenes. Um, I feel like that was an expound and it could be because you have a lot of success and opulence. You're feeling very stable right now. I just feel a sense of you all like transmuting pain and hurt, um, tapping into your creative, uh, tapping into your career, tapping into business, um, you know, endeavors and things are really going to start expanding for you in 2022. Like you're going to find that, you know, you have a lot of, um, stability you're going to feel very stable very self-sufficient um you know and this is because a lot of you had to you know kind of you know complete a cycle like that was really um your destiny it was like a part of your life's journey your soul's mission to you know wrap up a cycle or wrap up you know those circumstances that were not serving your highest good uh, those relationships that were not serving your highest good those job um you know, those uh, job circumstances that were not serving you or paying you your worth. Like you've cut yourself free from those things that was blocking your blessings and your overall happiness. Um, so let's go ahead, tap into it and see what's coming and going out going on for our beloved Scorpios. So we got this greed card. This says for the love of money. And it says money, moolah, dough, cheddar, cheese, biscuits. And then it says greed here. So this is what you was dealing with. You was dealing with a lot of people who felt entitled to what you had. People who wanted to kind of like ride your coattail. Um, I feel like you came into knowledge about who those individuals were. Because we have ramp playing come into knowledge. And so many of you were enlightened. Um, you got some sort of um, epiphany, some sort of wake-up call where you realized you was dealing with people who was just using you um, because they needed, um, you know, they just needed uh, some assistance, whether that was financially or just emotionally. Uh, and this is someone who doesn't put in as much as they expect to receive. So these are people who felt very, uh, like I said, entitled to what you had. But you came into knowledge about this circumstance, this situation, these dynamics and these connections that, you know, you was giving more than you were receiving. So I feel like um, many of you were very, you know, bank, you, you know, you was emotionally bankrupt, but you also found that your coins was being depleted, that you was like running out of funds, savings, things that you had stashed away, you was tapping into when you was around this person. And it's because they was bringing a spirit of lack. You know, that Judas energy preying on your downfall. Those are people who, you know, sit around plotting and planning and scheming and scamming on how to take from another person, on how to, you know, um, you know, kind of be an energy vampire. So they will suck the life out of you. Like they would literally use you up. And then when you have nothing more to give, they move on to the next, you know, the um, next victim. So I feel like for many of y'all, like they said, coming to knowledge, you had some sort of divine, 
download intervention. I feel like some of y'all had dreams. Some of y'all just had synchronistic acts where you were finding yourselves um, having these strange encounters with particular animal totem, spirit animals. Or you may have found yourselves waking up um, in the middle of the night at the same time, 333-444-555. Um, you were coming into knowledge. So there was like the divine was downloading you with the information, which is power, the knowledge, you know, about your circumstance, about your situation. And um, when you came into that knowledge, you, you created boundaries, you put your guard up. So divine spirit of love and light. <clears throat> My throat chakra is getting blocked. So I do feel like some of you all had people who was kind of like, um, kind of quieting you, um, you know, kind of like, restricting you. I feel a very restrictive energy, very uh, overbearing, domineering, controlling, um, you know, energy. And this is an energy that I feel like for a long time, they were, um, they were really like, um, they were abusing their power, um, taking your kindness for weakness. Um, they were not appreciating you, you know, and I feel like, you know, uh, many of you were very, um, you know, very thoughtful, very giving, you know, very, uh, you know, I feel like you were very, um, selfless, you know, and, and no matter what you gave, it was never enough 11, 11. So I feel like a lot of y'all received divine downloads because that 11, 11 is like a portal. Maybe during the 11, 11 portal, there was a lot of, um, solar eclipses. There was the lunar eclipse. So I feel like there was something that came to you, um, in regards to a circumstance pertaining like, you know, your finances, you know, and how someone could have been like stealing your money or um, trying to, attempting to, trying to steal your information. But I see here with the show them how to move in a room full of vultures, you definitely did some things um, that was unexpected. I feel like by you setting those boundaries and setting your guard up, these individuals couldn't read you. Um, and by you setting up your boundaries, you, they couldn't have access to this anymore. So I do feel like you, sh you proved something to them. It's like you, you showed them that you wasn't falling for the okie doke no more, that you grew up, that you leveled up, that you peep game, that you was aware now, um, you were no longer aloof. Um, and it's because you had divine protection around you, which was opening up your uh, your eye, making you more discernment. It was just 12, 12. That's 3, 3. So that brought you back into harmony. This 3, 3 is 6. So I do feel like with that 6, that's also your first eye. So you were able to see things clearly from an aerial view. Um, you looked at things from a different perspective, different vantage point, because as they was just saying, uh, come into knowledge. So you came into some sort of... Um, Knowledge. There was an epiphany, a grand epiphany, or some sort of aha moment that took place. So divine spirit of love and light, thank you. So show them how to move in a room full of vultures, flew right back out. So I do feel like this was your message originally, and I just felt that when I tried to shuffle again, I was like, damn, did I shuffle already in the card showed up? It came back out because this is your message. So you absolutely showed these greedy individuals who was trying to, you know, secretly plot and plan on how to take something from you, whether that be money, your time, your energy. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all um, with this uh, song, this is called Donald Jones, This Love. So I feel like you you stopped giving your love um, to these individuals. You stopped feeding. 1313, that's 4-4. Four, four. So you, you, you became more sturdy, more solid, more um, strong. You stood your ground against these individuals. That's what showed them how to move in a room full of vultures is all about. It's about like standing up for yourselves, you know, not like not, not, not shying away from the challenge, but um, confronting the challenge. Uh, some of y'all confronted the issues head on, told some folks about themselves. You literally um, blasted these mofos, exposed them for who they were, for what they was doing. And it's because you knew um, that you were divinely protected and you were protected from something that could have potentially cost you a lot of money. Uh, maybe y'all had some sort of notion, inkling, if somebody came around asking or requesting your help. Some of y'all knew, you know, instinctually, intuitively, um, your, the, your inner gumption was just like, nah, don't help them. Because it was like, it was like more so just um, trying to see what they could get away from, get away with. Um, and, and also just trying to take what wasn't theirs initially, 14, 14 on the clock. So that's five, five, that's 10. So yeah, this was something that was potentially supposed to cause like some sort of like, um, it was supposed to cause a blow in some way, shape, form or fashion. But I feel like you outsmarted them. Um, you was 10 steps ahead. Like I said, that's seven, uh, or that's six that, you know, I saw it's your first eye, you know, that's the, the third eye chakra. So 
your first eye was open so you was able to discern how to move amongst the wolves and sheep's clothing amongst those snakes you know you you was able to see you know and feel more importantly the energy the intention see that you what did i say in the beginning of this reading that y'all were very balanced very grounded um you're standing firmly on your square so it's like you're not budging you're not going to settle you're not going to uh put yourselves in circumstances that are um, beneath you, you know, and feel like there's there's a strong sense of growth, transformation, ascension. Um, you've gone through major healing, um, you know, and so I feel like now it's like you know that your love is worth so much more. So you're not settling for this type of funky energy. Um, that's why you got your guard up. That's why you're blocking shit out. That's why you on your I'm done done fin shit. That's why you want some block shit. You know, see this redemption song, Joy. So you have the sweetest redemption right now. And that's that you have love. Because it says all this love that, you know, that um, that's waiting here for you. So some of you are going to have a new love that's going to come in. And they're going to make you forget about all this toxic shit that you dealt with in your past. It's almost like you, you're going to appreciate having someone mistreat you. Because when this person that comes in to treat you the way that you know you deserve to be treated, it's going to be so refreshing refreshing. You know, redemption is like when you go through so many trials and errors, but then there's this beautiful moment, this beautiful pause from all the, the heartache, the, the pain, um, and just going through those trials and tribulations to now have someone who's just on your frequency that stimulates you mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, this is what redemption is. The sweetest joy is that you're going to have a lot of happiness. Um, and I feel like it's because a lot of you are happy within yourselves first. It's like you can't ha be happy with anyone else until you're happy with yourself. And I feel like that's what this journey has taught you, how to accept you, um, rediscovering who you were, um, and just soul searching, you know, figuring out what your purpose is, what your passions are, what you like now. Because a lot of you were in relationships and you got lost in them just like anybody else. Some of you were wives, some of you were mothers. Um, and so all those things took more precedence over your lives than your own dreams, your own aspirations, and even your own self-care. And so I feel like now there's this sense of like putting you first, knowing your value, knowing what you bring to the situation. And right now we have um, outcasts. And this is like an intro song, and it's called Hold On, Be Strong. So I feel like that's what y'all did. Y'all held on. Um, I feel like you didn't fret. You didn't give up. You, st you stayed focused on the task at hand because you knew ultimately a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And I feel like you did not give these attention whores, these low vibrational energies, your attention. Um, you know, when you are in like divine feminine, divine masculine energy, um, you're never going to settle for that type of energy. You have, you got people to handle that. You know what I'm saying? You don't even got to stoop down off of your, your, your throne. That's why I said, um, um, I said, standing firmly on your square. That's literally like taking a position of power, standing in your power, um, speaking your truth, opening up your throat chakra and letting people know what it is, what time it isn't. Um, so right now we got brand Nubians and this is called wake up. So that's what y'all did. First you came into knowledge, but you initially woke up. You woke up to, you know, to the truth. You woke up from the illusion, from the delusion. It's because you had a lot of, you know, master manipulators, you know, kind of like circling around you, you know, like, you know, praying on your downfall is people who are like calculating, um, you know, they're calculating, they're very, um, you know, they're very deceptive, very strategic in how they will strike. Um, and that's why you had to be wiser. You got to be quicker than that mofo. That's what you were saying to these assholes. Like you got to be quicker than that. And you, you obviously, you know, you, you won, you know, this, this spiritual warfare here. This is like, that's why there's redemption and joy that you're feeling because you literally, you're awake now. It's like this sense of a, you know, illumination. Like you feel a sense of, you know, this, this, this passion, um, to, to move forward, like this brand new beginning. Cause when you're done with something, it's like you're beginning something new. So every ending denotes a new beginning. So now that you're awake, when you wake up, it's like, it's, it's a brand new start to a new day. And it's like, it's exciting. It's, it's, you know, when you hold that optimism, because the, what, what the new day can bring is so much potential, so much 
joy, so much expansion. So a lot of y'all have come out of that dark night of the soul journey. This is like working through your shadow side. And it says, can they be a reflection of or the shadow, shadow side of yourself? Check yourself. And that's what y'all had to do. Because when you're attracting this energy, then that means there was something about you um, that was low vibrational in the first place to even have this type of energy around you. But when you woke up like brand new being is saying from that illusion, you now um, can cut yourself free from those soul ties, those karmics, you know, those generational curses. So this is powerful. So divine spirit of love and light, what additional messages you have for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? Dang, that flew out. You see that? So this says go deeper. And it says you haven't even scratched the surface. So there's more... Uh, to come. I feel like there's a lot of things that could be hidden, things that will be exposed. Um, but with wake up, I feel like it's going to wake you to, you know, what you need to do, how you need to move to the changes you need to implement. Um, I feel like there's still a lot of introspective work that's taking place. So I feel strongly like, you know, many of Scorpios are in that hermit mode, you know, and the winter months are, you know, typically when you tend to go into hibernation and, you know, you kind of like, you know, fine tune, you know, rejuvenate your spirit, you get back on um, into a space where you're healing and you're, you're, you're transmuting um, any of that energy um, that was like really toxic and really low vibrational to, you know, transform it into something, you know, that you could work with. So many of you could also be like, you know, taking those, those moments of, you know, um, internal work, you know, taking those um, internal self audits. Uh, and, and, you know, looking within yourself as opposed to, you know, looking external to self, because we all know we can't change nobody but ourselves. 21, 21, that's three, three, that's six. So when you, you know, when you do more internal work, I feel like there's going to be, um, you know, a stronger, um, potential for you all to be in alignment, like spiritual alignment with trust issues. I've been hurt, afraid, um, to be hurt again. Um, this is what many of you may be, you know, this may be your sentiment. Like, you know, you, you've been in these relationships where you gave your all and only to discover that you was, you know, giving your all to narcissists. She was giving your all to, you know, straight up, uh, manipulators, you know, straight up, you know, so sociopaths, <laughs> like, you know, and now it's, like you you have this 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 guard up where you're not very trusting but i feel like the divine is saying like look you know someone sees that your love is one in a million um no, i said your love is one in a million so the divine sees your potential and it's that you are here you know your birthright many scorpios um you, this card flew out of my hand so i feel like this is your message but i do feel like some of you all um, like I said, you've transmuted a lot of pain and we go deeper. This is more about self-analysis, self-discovery. And I feel like some of y'all, you know, kind of like started to, um, feel certain passions, certain, um, certain passions and desires kind of erupting within you. Um, and that woke you up to, you know, perhaps maybe a creative gift, a business venture that you wanted to embark on. And the divine is saying, you're going to be the first millionaire in your family. Um, this is like the third time this card came out in your reading. So many of my Scorpios, um, y'all are absolutely, it is written in the stars. You know, the divine is saying it is written. Like this is what you are meant to experience in this lifetime, in this reality, to become very self-sufficient. And remember, we saw a financial free success card also in the pre shuffle So while you're sorting through this, working through this, healing from this, um, I feel like you're really delving and diving into something creative, um, into something artistic into your healing and that's why you're being rewarded it's assured that you're going to be rewarded with abundance with opulence with expansion with a bright future um right now we have um shaba ranks and this is called house call <clears throat> so so let me get one more card so i do feel like you're gonna have somebody who's gonna really be you know they're gonna be checking in because i get a sense of like you know you're gonna start meeting people and this person is going to be like checking in. They're going to be like, you know, they're going to care enough. They're going to be attentive enough to, you know, probably pop up, see how you're doing, check in, you know, hand deliver flowers, um, just do things like bring you, you know, a plate of food, whatever the case may be. Um, see this right here with house call, deception, technology, the illusionist. That's what you all was dealing with. Um, this person could have been making house calls, going and meeting different women, having a bunch of people in rotation. And, you know, at the end of the day, 
you know, you're not you're not studying that shit. You're focusing on yourself. This is what the energy is when you start like, you know, focusing on self-love. You start treating yourself better. And that's what I was saying. You're not giving your energy to those who weren't deserving of it anymore because you've you've cut that off. So now all of your time and attention is going towards the self, even your children, your family, your household, your finances, your career, your business, your dreams, your aspirations. And you're also treating yourself better. So some of y'all could be doing like weekly or bi-weekly spa days, getting massages, you know, going to um, get yourselves pampered, getting yourselves treated like the divine feminine, divine masculine that you are. Some of you fellas are going to the barbershop more frequently, getting trimmed up, even if you ain't going nowhere, but just for self-care, just to show yourselves, you know, how you deserve to be treated. Because that's like preparing yourselves to live in this opulence, you know. When you treat yourself good, then you send that vibration into the universe that you deserve to be treated good. And so you start attracting and things start flowing to you, whether that be, you know, material abundance or uh, emotional fulfillment. It's like you start naturally, be, you know, drawing it. You're like a magnet to what you want. And it's because you're treating yourself beautiful. And it says self-love is the best love. So you've learned that by being mistreated, you know, by being mishandled, you know, by not having someone be man enough or woman enough to, you know, end things amicably, but instead want to play games or instead want to deceive, you know. And um, I feel like for many of you all, you got hit to that. And so you cut those cords, like I said. And so now 10, 10 on the clock. And you know me, I like to show and prove. So it's 10, 10 on the clock right there. So that's like you ending that karmic cycle, completing that cycle. Um, and you did so flawlessly, effortlessly. I feel like that's why the divine was very pleased uh, with your efforts. Because as I said in the beginning, y'all remain righteous. Remember, you had life is good, karma, dharma, law of attraction, and mama Oshun pop out. And that's why I was picking up that you have beautiful energy coming in. And it's because you did the work spiritual work isn't easy and that's why the divine is saying you're going to be rewarded uh better than you could even imagine more than you could even imagine and some folks are going to try to come back this is the energy vampires those snakes those vultures those wolves in sheep's clothing those people who are preying on your downfall you're 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 like you're very aware. Your your spidey senses are tingling, um, and you know um, that these individuals do not care for you. But they also know that you are beautiful. That you're rare. You're rare. You're rare gems. And so because of that, it's almost like they want you, but they don't know how to treat you. Or it's more so that they want to possess you so that they can get all of the abundance that they see and know that you will be manifesting, that you're manifesting because they've seen you literally like transform before their eyes. And they're also drawn to you, attracted to you because you are the divine feminine. It's almost like, you know, you hate what you can't duplicate. Um, but these individuals are literally like just toxic energy. They are not the types that you want to entangle with. That's why I feel like many of y'all are finally like putting your foot down. You're not allowing these individuals around you no more because you woke up just like brand Nubians were saying. So we got leadership here. So you've taken the reins of your lives. This 81 reduces to nine. So those are the positive changes that you knew you had to make. It was like, look, I got to change me. As I said, I can't change nobody else. Only me. So you started to implement the necessary changes so that you can improve your life. And that's why this redemption, the redemption card showed up because it's like you're redeeming yourself in some way. And that's why, you know, with the spiritual warfare, it, it's hard to, to navigate through, you know, a lot of toxic energy, people throwing shit at you out of jealousy, greed, um, out of envy, um, just out of hatred alone. But it's like you're sending all of that evil shit right back to sender. Um, you have a lot of protection around you. And I feel like you are now demanding your respect. You're in lead. You're in control. So those people who are trying to control you, who was able to do so for a while, which is why they was feeling entitled, um, they no longer have that control. They no longer have that effect on you. And it's because you're in your power. And this is purple inside of here and orange around it. So the sacral color and the color of the crown chakra. So you are very much 
fully aware of your worth and value. You know what you bring to the table. You have this sense of beauty, you know, and this is naturally attractive, naturally to those who mean you well and those who don't. But I feel like because you are living in a lap of luxury in other people's eyes, because we have um, Maxwell Luxury Coco Cure, I feel like you, you appear to be living very abundantly. And this is why you have people like praying on your downfall, trying to, you know, block your blessings and delay things. And it's because look at that. What did I say about self-love? You loving yourself makes you more attractive. 61 to 7. So this is you, you know, in a space of, you know, really knowing who you are. You know, you've done a lot of meditating and connecting to your higher self and you have devoted a lot of time to build, you know, your spiritual strength to, to know you know, what your mission is, your purpose is, to rediscover what your passions are, what your dreams are, and you're going for them. And this self-love is now, you know, really radiating, um, very powerful, very strong. And, you know, not only in other people's eyes, but, you know, the divine is acknowledging this as well. Um, you're also very sensitive to energy. You're like high priestess energy, Scorpios. This is beautiful. High priestess, high priest energy. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. Divine spirit of love and light. I wrote all is well with y'all. I missed y'all. You know, I, I pumped out a lot of videos and I didn't want to be too redundant. So I had to take a pause. But spirit was like, do another reading. Look what's on the bottom of the deck still, leadership. So y'all are in your power. You know, for 81 to be here still, this is these are the changes. It's like you went through so much and you've given people so many chances to kind of sh prove because Scorpios are very loyal. So it's like you'll give people chances to show and prove that they are just as invested um, in the relationship, the friendship, the love ship, the, you know, the, 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 the connection as you are. And when you see that they aren't, when you start picking up on energy, like that, they're like praying on your downfall or, you know, they're not your friends, they're frenemies, that they're enemies, then you, you got to take a position of power. And so what you do in this energy of leadership is you start strategizing in a way to protect yourself. So what we have here is new beginnings. What did I say about y'all embarking on a new beginning? Because you've completed a cycle and that shit was not easy, but you have come into your power. You're like the divine feminine. You know, you're back in that space of oneness, wholeness and balance. And it's because you have ended a cycle and you've done so with so much respect, with so much dignity, with so much tact. It's like you handled those circumstances righteous and just. And that's why that karma dharma, you reap what you sow, came out. Because I feel like now you're going to start reaping the benefits, the rewards of all that hard work that you've put in. So you have some new beginning. And these new beginnings is why others feel like, let me latch on, leech on, you know, let me get on the, the bandwagon so that they can, you know, embark in some of this or in indulge in some of this beautifulness that you are starting to, you know, experience. And the divine is like hell to the no, you know. And so I feel like you're also picking up on the energy of, you know, people trying to come back and trying to grasp on, but you're like done. So here we have love partnership. So what you have here is you know these people who are you know the vultures the wolves in sheep's clothing the snakes those de devil energies these were people who literally had like you know they had like a whole other life that you didn't know about these were people who was like hidden in plain sight right underneath your nose but many of you all had rose colored glasses on and it's because you were in a partnership so you thought um you loved these individuals you invested so much in those connections but you were you learned the unfortunate way that these connections were just an illusion it wasn't real so what you are now attracting is you're attracting what you are with this love partnership I feel like now that you're vibrating higher now that you are in a higher frequency and you are in a space where you love yourself three 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 now you can attract what you are 26 is the number eight so I feel like now you know you walked away because that's giving me like the energy of the eight of cups where you walk away because you know your worth you know your value you're not settling for let for less and you know you're tired of feeling depleted um, emotionally bankrupt financially bankrupt and so you walk away and what you're walking away from is the toxicity but you're walking towards this sense of self-love sense this sense of healing you're walking towards that space of knowing that 
You have to love you, prioritize your needs, prioritize your wants over that of anyone else. And when you start doing that, you automatically change your frequency and vibration. And when you show love to yourself, as I said earlier, now you're going to start attracting it. Laws of attraction, manifesting your dreams because you change your own vibration. So many of you did take to, you know, become that alchemist where you knew that you create the potions and the elixirs of life. Some of y'all was using candle magic. Some of y'all was using crystal. Some of you all just tapped into the energy and started to be more creative. You started to co-create with source. And that's like I said, when you started to tap into that creative and artistic energy, that's when you really started to transmute the pain that you initially felt from these un, you know, unhealthy relationships. But now you're going to manifest something new because this 26 is eight. So there's like infinite possibilities. There's forward movement, there's progress, there's success, and it's in love. So you're gonna attract someone now who's gonna be on your frequency. And I feel this is gonna be like a wish fulfillment. And this person will reach out and communicate with you. Um, there will be communication back and forth with you and this person. Um, right now we have the East Flat, Flat um, East Flatbush Project. And this is, um, yeah. East flat, um, eat flash, flat bush project. So yeah, so what I'm hearing is project. So yeah, this was a part of, you know, this was a part of, like I said, your destiny. But I feel like whoever you was dealing with, maybe they projected a lot um, onto you uh, out of guilt. And that's how you started to like really pick up on, you know, sudden hints, you know, certain downloads. Maybe you started to have dreams where you was, you know, um, having dreams where this person was being um, unfaithful. Um, but I feel like, you know, by you getting those little downloads, uh, you know, and by you just paying attention to this person's body language and how they was projecting a lot to you, I feel like that's what also helped you in how to navigate this situation. Because I feel like once you started to see things for what they were, um, and not hold on to this fantasy um, that, you know, you, you were in this, you know, very healthy relationship. I feel like that's when you started to shift um, your energy in a, in, in a, um, a major way. See that? I, I can't make this up. So you shifted your energy. And with this 56, that's 11. And you shifted your energy because you got those downloads. Remember, I saw 11, 11 on the clock in the beginning. And I said that that's like a portal. When you look at it, it looks like, you know, this portal that opens up. And so that's where the in information, the outformation came from the divine, from celestial, from galactic, that you need to change your circumstance. Your relationship needs to change because that love is no longer there. That love may have been there in the beginning possibly, uh, but the love no longer lives there anymore because you have someone who is a complete vulture, somebody who is an enemy behind, um, you, what do you call that? Well, it's an enemy behind, you know, beh um, behind the, the tactics. So this relationship change, why? Because you have a love for self. You know, this is you now being in alignment, wholeness, balance. This is you now, you know, listening and trusting the spiritual guidance that you're receiving. That's why I was picking up earlier, like a lot of y'all was receiving those synchronistic acts or having divine interventions. And through you paying attention to that, that's what led to your redemption. That was, that's what led to you persevering through that and being resilient and strong. And that's why there's this joy, this peace that you're feeling because you, you did the work. You know what I'm saying? You had to implement the change. So see, I just said this perseverance, you persevered through this. And by you persevering through this circumstance, this is why you're now being seen as someone very spiritually strong. You know, you could be seen as a healer, a shaman, a light worker, a teacher, a master teacher. You could be a Reiki master. You could be a musician, an artist. Whatever you do, it's on a higher frequency. You you stimulate the minds and souls of people that come into contact with your work. It's like you are naturally a healer because you're naturally empathic and nurturing. So you do things with care, tender, loving care. And, you know, like I said, whatever creative projects, whatever gifts... You started to hone those. You started to master your, your craft, sharpen that sword, and that led to this sense of stability. This four is, you know, the heart chakra, but I feel like it was because you learned to love yourselves. Um, like I said earlier, you transmuted the pain from the circumstance and you, you, you turned it 
into something very magical, turn the pain into power, literally, and focused on creativity. And that's why the divine was like, look, you're going to be the first millionaire because you, what you're creating, you know, from the pain and how you've transmuted that pain and channeled that energy and, 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 and co-created with source, you're absolutely deserving of this, you know, guarantee and reward that you're going to be abundant, that your life will expand. And it's because of your perseverance by you, you know, remaining sturdy, being independent because your independence is a foundation for your stability, your success, your security, your happiness overall. And so there's going to be a lot of people kind of biting for your attention um, that really are just trying to distract you. And you're very much aware that a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And you're not. That's why you had done, done, fin. You're blocking out the bullshit. No time for it. So let's go ahead and get some more additional, some additional messages. So remember, with leadership, you're a leader. You're not a follower. So you ain't following nowhere. Nobody down no dark path. You are not on that shit. Right now we have um, R. Kelly. And this is called Baby, Baby, Baby. So yeah, you're going to be singing like baby, you know, because with this, you'll be the first millionaire in your family. I mean, like, I definitely see like there's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. And this is from something that you birthed. Like this is something you created. Because when I think of baby, I think of, you know, that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You know, your divinity is creation. Some of you may have a baby, may literally have a child in the 2022. Um, and I feel like, you know, if it's not a child, it's just you're birthing a new creative idea or project. Um, you're taking the reins uh, to embark on a new business. Um, endeavor like you're going to start making the necessary moves um, strategically to start uh, to to start working on something because you've been mastering it and I feel like you know it's your baby it's something that you've discovered you absolutely enjoy doing and this is what you want to do with spiritual career some of y'all is going to be in a spiritual career as I just said a lot of y'all are already um, you've been like You've been pruded. This is like whether you realize this or not, like everything you've been through with that ex, with those family members, with that friend that was a snake, with those colleagues that cost you your job, whatever you went through, whatever toxic cycle that you've just come out of, it was all designed for you to step into your purpose so you can learn and discover why you're here. And as I said earlier, many of you are healers, your teach, you know, your master teachers, your shamans, your light workers, your um you're in the occult in some way. You could be magis, you could be, you know, witches, whatever it is you do, you could be musicians, artists, painters, singers, writers, um, you may play instrument, whatever you do, tarot card readers, channelers, psychics, you know, whatever it is, it's in the spiritual um it's a spiritual um career. It's something that um like I said, you've definitely built your spiritual sense in a major way. And so now the divine is aligning you with your purpose. You're spiritually aligned on top of that. So that's powerful. So with physical activity, some of y'all, you know, like I said, you put in the work. This is you keeping your eyes on the prize and, and you know, really working hard to achieve a goal. So it was like you, you set things in action. You weren't just talking about it. You put things in action. You put things in motion. 67 reduces to 13. So that's four. So this is about you being very stable, investing time and energy, um, being very focused, uh, building your wealth of knowledge in that particular area. And because you was very active, that's the key word on this, because you, you know, because manifesting and, and um, setting intention is more than just sitting there and calling something to you. You have to be instrumental in manifesting that. And I feel like the divine is saying by you being proactive, devoting the time, to, you know, investing that energy and really, you know, um, just really setting intention and working tediously, tirelessly, you know, on this skill set, on this craft, that's what's leading to this opulence. That's what's leading to you being successful. Right now we have a tribe called Ke Quest and this is called God Lives Through. So this is beautiful. God lives through you. And that's why you are um, like I said, those divine downloads, interventions, that's how God lives through you by you, you know, 
connecting with your higher self. You're talking to God. When you start uh, listening to your intuition, you're tapping into your Christ consciousness. And so I feel like God lives through your work. It li he lives through you, um, you know, through you uh, connecting and building that relationship with your ancestors, with your spirit team, with your divine, with source, with your angels, with the most high. That's why you are being assured um, you know, this level of success here. My nose is tickling like crazy. So this is hitting it for some of y'all. Um, with nature, I do feel like, you know, this is really telling me that a lot of y'all are spending more time out in nature, taking walks. A lot of you are bike riding. A lot of you are doing more physical activity. Some of you all have taken on yoga, African dance, salsa, anything to move your hips, anything to circulate your energy, just to, you know, that's that like divine feminine energy also. So like, you know, dancing, connecting with the body, um, feeling your body. Some of you all could literally be just, you know, sitting outside under a tree with a blanket, with a book, or just meditating with your crystals and just connecting with the divine. This 74 is 11 again. So I do feel like many of you all, your solar return could have been on 11, um, 11, 11. So happy belated to you all. Um, but for many of you all, I just feel like, you know, it, it's now um, that you are realizing because you've grounded yourself and you're trusting your own intuition now. And you are, you know, really in a space where you have a beautiful connection to God because God lives through you. So you're now learning that it's okay to, to love yourself and treat yourself and do right for yourself. You're learning it's your birthright that you are meant to live um, you know, like royalty, that you are regal, you know, that you are deserving. And that's because you have self-love. So the spiritual career is absolute, um, a message for some of you all. I know a lot of you all may have like, um, you may have, um, you may sell, you know, candles, handcrafts, candles, you may make spiritual products. Um, I feel like this year your business is going to really bloom. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth in your spiritual career. This 78 reduces to 15 at six, and this is a six universal year. Uh, so I do feel like there's going to be a lot of balance. Like there's going to be just things are going to be very balanced for you. Um, I feel like not only in, um, your financial, um, in your financial area, but I also feel like in love, in your personal relationships, because I feel like you're going to start meeting more of your soul tribe, your soul family. You're going to start meeting more um, people who you can um, cultivate healthy relationships, whether business partners or, you know, you know, just meeting people um, in your day to day life that have similar interests. So you're going to start, you know, aligning with the right people, Scorpios. This is beautiful. So right now, we have, um, who is this? This is Atlantic Star, and this is called Send For Me. So, yeah, you may have a love. Um, you definitely have a love that wants you to send for them. I feel like, you know, this is uh, could be, you know, twin flames. So this could be like a past life love, or maybe there's, you know, some secret admirer you know, that wants to uh, either send for you or they want you to send for them. So maybe they want you to reach out. Maybe there's no communication. Um, like I said, you are very guarded. Uh, and the divine was saying that earlier, you got to kind of like, um, you know, just open up a little bit. You're not to the wrong people, but to the right people. Um, because, you know, you do have some, you know, some folks that's going to start being very drawn to you. What did I say about you having, you know, harvest? So this new year, and this is the number six as well. Uh, this is the number nine, pardon me, but it's six upside down. But nine is the, the like, I, I see this as the nine of cups where there's like wish fulfillment, miracles. There's like new opportunities, new love connections. But this is also to me about self-love, you know, by really uh, being selfish now. Um, remember the card said selfish, loving me, myself, and I. And that's what you all had to do in order to not be distracted by, you know, these, these energy vampires, these toxic um, individuals that were um, fully aware that the attention you give them was like how they were feeding off of you because by them getting your attention, maybe you were getting angry by your interactions with these individuals and that's how they pull your energy. But because you focused on your craft, because you focused on yourselves, because you prioritized 
your life, your needs, your wants, because you didn't focus on them. That's why you're being rewarded. This material harvest is coming from the divine. So this is you not having to worry about anything. And with this crown chakra illuminated, like I said, divine interventions and downloads, you are very in tune, spiritually strong. So you know how to just manifest and draw in and attract what you need. See that? What did I say about hermit mode? Solitude is all about hermit mode. So you all were definitely in a very um, sacred space, learning, building, growing, doing um, internal dives, internal self audits, introspective work, reflection. And it's because of all the difficulties you went through in your past, but you put it behind you. And you said, I'm focusing on my future. These mountains denote all the difficulties. You know, you having to like go through all of these hurdles, these peaks and valleys and these circumstances where you tried to make it work and you tried to give it your all. But those individuals were not sending for you. They were not there um, to empower and nurture the relationships. They were there to teach you self-love because they took your love for granted, didn't know how to love you. And in return, you had to learn how to separate yourself from that. There's this hope, you know, and the name of this group is called Atlantic Star. So this hermit mode is you being very hopeful, optimistic, knowing that there is an opportunity. There's infinite possibility. The star card in traditional tarot is the eight, the number eight. This card is the number nine again. But I feel like that's the, the change that's coming is life is going to be good because infinite possibilities are about to flow. And it's because you took the time to do your own self work. You had to do your own inner healing. You know, you had to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And now that you love yourself, you know yourself, you know, your love language, you know you, what you like, you know what you don't like apart from what you don't like. So this is the energy here. And that's why you're being rewarded because you did the work. You know, and I feel like with send for me, I feel like you're asking the divine, you know, to, um, you know, to really send you, um, you know, what you need, you know, whether that be, like I said, um, material, um, abundance or whether that be love, whether that be healing. And so we have, look at this love. I can't make this up. Love begins when you learn to heal yourself and transmute the pain from past traumas, past childhood traumas, abandonment issues, addictions, bad behavior, faulty belief systems. When you start doing that internal work, you heal yourselves and you transmute that pain into power. And you now start radiating love. You start radiating the sense of someone who has uh, you know, emotional intelligence. And then you start attracting someone who wants to work with you. These are two separate hands, both pouring you know, into this ocean. And this is a flow. So this is going to be like you know, fulfilling. This is like fulfilling. This is a new relationship, you know, cultivating a new love partnership that will grow and stand the test of time, building and nurturing, um, you know, growing a legacy, building a family, having a, you know, that happy house, happy spouse. And um, with this one, this is like definitely coming. So this new beginning, this is really going to catapult you. You know, this person from the past definitely taught you how to love yourself, you know, taught you how to put you first, uh, taught you that you have to walk away from what doesn't serve you. And so this greedy energy is not going to be very particularly happy with you moving on and not only moving on, but moving on into a spiritual union, a divine partnership. This is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. This is divine masculine and feminine coming into union. And so this person definitely uh, is coming into poor into your cup and you theirs. Um, right now we have rock this funky joint and this is by poor righteous teachers. So the word that's popping out to me is righteous. And just as I said earlier, because you remain righteous and just in your actions, because you didn't stoop to nobody's level, because you didn't fall into the traps of getting caught up in your emotions. Uh, when this person was trying to antagonize and play games and manipulate, um, you didn't fall for it. You remain righteous. You remain just. You stayed on your square. You was grounded, balanced, and aligned. And this is why these person, you know, this individual is like sitting there praying on your downfall, trying to strategize plans to take you out. But you're too, you know, like I said earlier, you got to be quicker than that because the divine is protecting you because you are, you know, you are an, you know, an earth angel. You are, um, you have a higher spiritual rank, I feel, with that spiritual career card showing up. It's like you have a purpose here and you were assigned that role. It's like you've been, um, how do you say, what's that word when you are um, not inducted? There's a better word. 
initiated. You're an initiate um, within this spiritual ranking of, um, you know, a teacher or a healer. And so that's why, you know, it's like you was rising, you know, you was like growing too much. You was, you was, you was growing, you was maturing, you was transforming for the better. And this is like, you're going to, you're going to drop a lot of energy that can't keep up the act. You know, these are people who is putting on a, fr a front a show, wearing a mask, you know, they can't keep up the, the, the motherfucking jig is up. They can't keep up the illusion for, but for, for, but so long. You know, and, and yes, you love these individuals, but you learned that, you know, they didn't really love you. And so when you learned they didn't love you, you had to start questioning yourself, checking yourself. Like, how did I fall for that? So that's where the internal work came in. But what we have here, see that? What did I say? I didn't even see this. The internal work came within. That's when you started to do that emotional withdrawal. This is like you taking a step back. This is the eight of cups I was referring to earlier. You know, remember that card? I was like, that's like you walking away. The eight of cups is you taking that step back to say, nah, I'm not receiving here. I'm not, there's nothing being reciprocated. I'm giving, but I'm not receiving. And these steps is the divine. Remember God, um, what it did it say? God sees, God works through you or dang, I can't remember. It was by the tribe called quest, but this is God's footsteps. They, they're carrying you through this, through these difficult times. This is emotional uh, pain and loss and agony and you had to take some time out to heal that you know you had to take some time out to to like i said you know um delve deeper you know and that's what this go deeper you know you haven't even scratched the surface was about because intuitively um you know there was more there to un you know, unpack so divine spirit why well, i showed them how to move in a room full of vultures and love partnership here for our beloved scorpios divine spirit of love and light why well, i showed them how to move in a room full of vultures here and love partnership for our beloved Scorpios on spirit of love and light. Thank you so much. And on the bottom of the deck, Harmony, I can't make this shit up. See that? Bored, boredom, discontent. This is what you was feeling in that partnership. This is what you was feeling in this relationship. Something had to change. You know, this, this is unfulfilling. Because whoever you was dealing with, they was probably, you know, in and out. You know, they was not there. You couldn't rely on them. You know, I feel like they definitely, this 26 was what I was referring to as like the eight of cups walking away because you felt depleted. And that's what was literally, you know, on the bottom of the deck just now is like you had to walk away. And this is you feeling very discontent, unfulfilled emotionally. You feel alone. Where's your partner at? So they could have kept you in the house a lot, could have went out and been partying with their boys, meeting people. They telling you they with their boys, but they could have been just like out there, like I said, had different women, different men in rotation. And this is someone you love dearly, but you realize like the love wasn't reciprocated. And so your heart was broken. You were starting to do some, you know, some deeper dives here, but you're in a dark place. So you went through those bouts of depression and sadness. You know, you went through those bouts of maybe like, you know, not taking care of yourself. You know, maybe some of y'all turned to emotional eating, you know, just doing things to try to numb the pain. And that's where you were for a while, feeling very discontent. But the divine was showing you signs. There's rainbows here telling you, like, look, you got to implement the change from this love partnership. Because what's right next to these cards is relationship change. So you eventually listen. And that laid, that led to you having this redemption, this joy. And right now we have keep trying. And what she says is lift, keep your head to the sky and keep trying. And look where your head is at. Your head is down. You feel defeated. This is a defeatist person uh, disposition, you know. And so you you knew because the divine, like I said, sending you downloads. That number fifty six is the eleven. The portal opening up and telling you love yourself. This is green inside of here. Love yourself and look at the situation completely different. And so that's when you started to realize, like, I got to change this situation. And when you do, that's when you get this redemption. The sweetest joy is you now are back in harmony with yourself, back in balance. And now that you're in, a, in balance and in alignment, you can now attract your divine partner because this karmic was not your divine partner. So you had to keep trying to heal. You had to keep trying to regain your strength, your power. Um, 
and you also had to keep trying so you can bring this union into fruition in this lifetime. You have a divine partner that wants to come into union. And you will know who this is because there is this synergy, this connectivity. There is this chemistry that is undeniable. This love is unspoken. You can tell these two are drawn. And as I said in the beginning, this person will stimulate you, mind, body, soul. There will be a synergy. Look at this connection. You will, grow, You and this person will marry. This is like... The two of you, this love is so profound. This leads to long-term commitment, marriage, children, family, growing a business together. This six is about, you know, that's like the lovers. So it's like the divine is definitely bringing you someone that is your person. Um, and you will be in a partnership, a relationship with this individual as well. So this relationship change is absolute. And that's why you're going to feel very much, um, you know, the sweetest redemption ever. See this authority, this is the divine masculine. And I feel like this is also who you had to break free from. Because as I said earlier, you was with someone who was very domineering, overbearing, controlling, you know, almost obsessive. This is somebody like, it's my way or the highway. His disposition is very cold. He's not inviting. He's not warm. He's not emotional. And I feel like you had to keep trying um, to, to break free from this energy because of this person's hold on you. You know, I feel like for a lot of you, I feel you had to take control. That's why that leadership card was showing up on the bottom of the other deck so much because you had to take your power back from this energy and you had to change your relationship with this person by changing yourself. You can't change them. You can't change this energy. But I also feel like the sweetest redemption is also saying that you have a divine masculine that will be coming in because this is the emperor. So this emperor energy is coming in and this person is coming in and they're going to court you. This is someone with this 11. I feel like, you know, this is chiming on the 1111, which is connected to like yin yang, twin flame, divine soulmates, you know, divine partnerships. So the third eye, what did I say? You know, the third eye is the first eye. And that six, I mentioned the third eye earlier, right? The, the number six. And this is why you were being told, like you use discernment. You knew that spirit was telling you go deeper. Something else, you know, um, needs to be investigated. Something else needs to be, um, you know, you needed to, you know, you needed to analyze the situation deeper. You needed to, you know, further investigate. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's what led to you persevering also. You know, you also started to receive like little downloads and nudges to like start working on, you know, some of those dreams to start, you know, because I feel like there was a lot of downloads during this time because this, you know, crown chakra, this, I mean, this first eye chakra, third eye chakra, this is like you tapping and tuning in um, to your higher self. And I feel like, you know, that's also, you know, where the self-love self -love came from because you, you know, you, you, you started to do soul searching. You know, when, you, when you're when you being honest and real with yourself, you're, you're going to um, initiate the changes, you know, that are necessary to be your best version. And when you're soul searching and healing, um, there's no room for games. There's no room for trickology. This disruption here, see this? This is like, you know, that tower moment. This is somebody who was trying to disrupt your peace. This is somebody who was definitely, you know, had you on some round and round. Here we go again. Uh, because this is, um, this is, um... This is high tech, and this is called round and round. And so this is um, how this person had you. This is the tower. You know, this is something that completely led to um, an empire that was being built to become destroyed. It, it, it just crumbled, you know. But this ending is absolutely uh, what you was very persistent and consistent in you know, rebuilding, you know, you went through this, this tower moment, but I also feel like somebody was trying to uh, disrupt your peace, you know, and you was very, you know, focused, you was very proactive on um, staying focused on the, you know, keeping your eyes on the prize, but this person wants to disrupt your peace, wants to disrupt your happiness, your stability, um, your success even, um, this person is, is, is twisted, they're jaded, you know, and they project a lot of their insecurities onto others. And so this person wants to keep you on this merry-go-round, wants to keep this cycle going, you know. And, and, and as we saw earlier, you was on your done done fin shit. So that's like you saying, I'm out of here cutting free. But somebody's literally trying to um, get you to, you know, still 
you know, to, to still feed into the bullshit. But you're, you're emotionally disconnected from this person. You've already walked away. So you're not falling for the trap. So divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit of love and of light. I'm mixing up my cards again. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is you will be the first millionaire here in physical activity for our beloved Scorpios? Why is you will be the first millionaire here? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, material harvest. You will be the first millionaire because you're going to be blessed with it. This is a miracle. This is wish fulfillment. This is, this is divine saying, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. This is a breakthrough. This is victory. This is success. Cornucopia. Infinite supply. Financial freedom. Expansion. Abundance. Prosperity. Wealth. Opulence. This is you not having to worry about nothing. Having an infinite supply. Power. Took your power back. What did I say? This is you being proactive. A thing does not distract a lion. You know, you are... This is like you being impervious to threat. You now being, you know, half man, half amazing. Every time I see this card, I always think of Nas's lyrics, half man, half amazing. And whether you're feminine or masculine, this is what you did. Taking your power back put you in a position of being able to now, you know, manifest and attract what you desire. This is the number eight. So this is that energy of infinite supply. This is that energy of you receiving wish fulfillment, abundance, opulence. This is you, you know, in a position of power, of knowing that you have the ability to manifest your dreams and to desires by setting the intention. This is you. You're going to be powerful. And I feel like you're going to use your, you know, your powers for good. And that's why you're going to be um, very abundant because you're using your powers for good. And we got Nicole Bust here, you. And somebody is going to be drawn to you, attracted to you, love you for your stability, for your your your, your for the fact that you know who you are, for the fact that you you in your bag, you 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 on your grown man, grown woman shit. This is you like bossing up, literally. And it's because of you being proactive. This activity where it always is just sticking out. Like this is not you sitting on your your hands. You know what I'm saying? Like waiting for shit to plop in your lap. This is like, this is what you had to do. You had to like, you know, you had to scratch and gnaw and crawl to get to this place. But you did it. To get back to this place of power is very powerful. I love this. And this is you. The Scorpios that's tuning in, the name of this song is called You. So I'm talking to you that's listening. That's why I said my readings are timeless. So whenever you hear this message, it's for you. And you're not here by accident. There's no such thing as accidents or coincidences. You're going to have material west, material harvest, wealth, you know. So why is treat yourself? You deserve it. And nature here, divine spirit. Some of you could have been born in the year 74. Some of you could have been born on November 13th. Some of you could have been born on November 8th, November 4th, November 6th. Some of you could have been born on November 11th, as I said, November 4th. I see, we got 444, so some of y'all are seeing 444. Some of y'all could have been born November 1st also. Thank you, spirit. See this? Look at this. See that? Positive movement forward. This is what you're doing. And the divine is very pleased with you doing this. See that? Treat yourself. You deserve it. So this is like the divine saying, look, you know, I'm going to shower you with a whole bunch of abundance. Before you start, you know, uh, blissing other people, treat yourself first because you deserve it. You did the work. Positive movements forward. There's a lot of peace here. It's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of, you know, new. You're looking forward to the move, the new. Some of y'all could be relocating, moving. Somebody could be coming towards you. But this is something that's naturally going to happen because you're grounded, balanced, and in the line. You're emotionally in equilibrium. And now that you have this, this stability, now a lot of uh, beautiful things are coming in. And that's what the cards were saying. Life is good. This is a beautiful sunny day. I feel like you're going to start attracting things to you. Material harvest is still on the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely coming into some financial blessings. There's a lot of this. This this keeps coming out. So this is definitely for you all. And I feel like it's in pertinence to a spiritual career. Some of you all definitely have. Um, you definitely have earned this. I see here clearly um, that you have earned this. This is not just being handed to you. This is this is something you've earned. This is beautiful. Y'all should be very proud of yourselves. So divine spirit of love and light. We're going to get some messages from Tarot. And then we're going to wrap it up. And it is one minute. I mean, one hour and eight minutes into the read. These cards are all bent out of proportion, out of shape and stuff. 
And so we have the system playing, and this is called Don't Disturb This Groove. So there goes you again, like I said, in that hermit mode, you know, in hibernation, healing, fine-tuning, you know, protecting yourself, blocking out distractions and negativity. You know, this is that energy. Don't disturb this groove. So Divine Spirit, why is the money? Thank you so much. This one wants to... I'm just going to expand on this. So this is the Eight of Swords. This is the place that this, this past person had you in, confused. You know, this is also self-imposed mental anguish, confusion, ruminating and pining over circumstances. But you definitely, um, you know, set your boundaries once you remove this veil from your eyes, this bondage. Once you wiggled your way out of this energy and cut yourself free, I feel like that's when you set... Uh, boundaries because the name of this is called don't disturb this groove so that was poking out i'm gonna put that back in give the cards a bang bang boogie for the next shuffle bottom of the deck we got the emperor again so many of you you could have been dealing with the mother or father of your child somebody who has a history perhaps in law enforcement security military whatever it is this is like i said that overbearing energy this also could be you in that energy whether divine feminine or masculine just really like in that leadership role you know, taking action, doing what you need to do to get things done. Um, this is also like that entrepreneur. So that could be another reason why you got this. You will be the first millionaire in your family. That's also the lion. That's fire energy as well. So I do feel like this could be you in a powerful position, in a leadership position, really in an energy of like, don't disturb this groove. Like this ain't no energy to mess with. Like this is somebody that knows what they want and they go get it. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. See this fool here? So there's someone who's definitely wanting to come in, you know what I'm saying? And um, you may be a little, you know, like I said, standoffish, guarded, uh, but this person is coming in, somebody from your past potentially, uh, because they're looking to come in to potentially re reconcile, reunite, reconnect. Um, something can develop here. This person does want a new beginning, you know, because this person is wanting to take that leap of faith, take, you know, take a risk. They want you to take a risk also. And the divine is saying, you know, with this, don't disturb this groove. You know, you could be in a very guarded place right now uh, because you're very particular. As I said, you're, you're you know, you're, you're checking for, you know, somebody that's going to be on your vibration. So this full energy, not necessarily on your vibration. This also is somebody that's packing light. So they could be coming in for, you know, a good time, not a long time, potentially. Uh, somebody that doesn't think things through. So maybe they're a little um, impulsive. Um... But I do feel like this person will be loyal. Um, you know, they will be loyal. Uh, so let's see. Why show them how to move in a room full of vultures? And the number 26. What is this? Um, love partnership and discontent and boredom. So this is definitely somebody who was trying to hold on to you. Kind of trying to keep you. Um, you know, trying to like literally like. <sighs> this is someone that's trying to hold on to a connection. But not investing nothing you know it's like this is a very guarded connection you didn't really feel that excitement you didn't feel the butterflies it was just a very routine blah kind of exist you know relationship like y'all just coexisted uh, but i feel like something was just holding you with this person maybe like i said um maybe this is the mother or father to your child so you could have planted seeds and roots have a history with this person so you may have felt obligated um, I do feel like there's a sense that somebody was blocked off, closed off from this relationship, which is why you felt discontent um, in this partnership and you felt like in the dark about a lot of things, didn't really know um, half of what was going on because you was definitely dealing with a snake, you was dealing with somebody deceptive, but they could have been holding on to you, as I said, for greed, for stability, for security, for finances, for money, um, for a place to stay even. Um, maybe to even drive your car, use your vehicle, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like, you know, this was a loveless partnership. Um, I feel like you loved, but they didn't love you. So you had to move away from that connection, move away uh, from something that made you feel, you know, feeling, um, you know, bankrupt. So this person was holding on to you, not really fully investing, but just kind of holding on and holding you back and keeping you kind of stuck um, to some degree. Uh, what we have here is the Ten of Cups here. So this is what you are absolutely manifesting. Like I said, with this relationship change, you're attracting your divine masculine, divine feminine. Uh, this is emotional fulfillment, joy. You got the Ace of Cups twice here because this 10 definitely reduces to the Ace, it reduces to one. So this love that's beginning, that's going to be like, you know, what, what you're cultivating, the love that's being developed between whoever comes in, um, it's going to grow. Um, it's going to mature uh, into a love partnership. This person is going to be someone that you will um, 
you'll feel like they're like, you know, they're, they're your redemption. You know, they're helping you to redeem yourself, to redeem, you know, redeem love for you again. You know, redeem your definition of love even. This Ten of Cups is happy house, happy spouse, you know, that happily ever after energy, happily ever after energy. This is a happy family. This is this is a family that, you know, supports one another, very devoted to one another, um, very protective of one another, one where there's communication. You feel supported. You feel like you have, um, you know, your best friend here. Um, what we have right now playing is Jadakiss, and this is called You Don't Eat. So I do feel like, you know, this person here um, with Jadakiss and You Don't Eat, I do feel like, you know, maybe, I don't, I'm not picking up anything with that. I'm sorry. But the name of this album is Top 5 Dead or Alive. So maybe this is, you know, somebody who um, is going to be, you know, that, that one special person that you've ever had. Um, maybe there's been some some lovers in the past, but this one is really going to just it's going to be, you know, it's going to I, I, I'm I just that kind of twisted me a little bit. But let me see if I could pick up a message, you know, because you don't eat, you know, maybe you didn't feel fulfilled in the past. You didn't feel like, you know, you didn't feel like somebody nourished you. You didn't feel nourished. Um, and, you know, in that former relationship, which is why you had to change it. Thank you, spirit. Um, you didn't feel fulfilled. You didn't feel like they nourished you emotionally or fulfilled you, um, in the ways that you needed. So it's like, you know, that connection definitely, um, had to change for you in order for, like I said, this divine partnership to, uh, to come into fruition, to manifest. So thank you spirit for helping me with that. Cause I got a little, you know, a little blocked for a moment. Uh, so why is go deeper, uh, perseverance, third eye here. Thank you, spirit. That flew out. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. Yeah, so that's that energy of kind of like waiting it out. But you're still, this is literally like you reap what you sow, sowing in good faith. You still feel a little blase, like damn shit ain't happening um, fast enough because, you know, what you was putting your intention into or your emotion and you're investing your time into this was like that that playboy energy in and out play a player from the himalaya N definitely non-committal definitely not someone that's there for a long time only a good time and i feel like you know you had to do some deep dives some soul searching um and that's how you ultimately came up with the decision that you had to release that person because they was just not on your frequency they was not on your level um i feel like a lot of you came to those um conclusions as i said by just you know planting your your, your yourself in an, in a space where you could ground yourself um by really rooting yourself um being more in alignment focusing more on your healing focusing more on yourself um and trusting what you was picking up intuitively by this person or even energetically um you just was more you use discernment um, but you're also, you know, making great strides and efforts to, you know, build your own foundation. You're doing so um, on your own, as I said, putting in a lot of time, putting in a lot of energy um, towards your dreams. That's you shifting your focus from that person and still planting seeds and roots, like still, you know, growing some things. You can see all of these seeds you've planted. They're like, you know, they're blossoming. It's, you know, bringing forth some sort of um, opportunity, some opulence here. And it's because you trusted your intuition, your higher self, which instructed you to do so. Right now we have live at Trance. What's this called? Ultramagnetic MCs. And this is called... Yeah, so I feel like, you know, because the word that stuck out to me was um, was live, live, you know. So you started to live, you know, live instead of like existing. Um, you know, when you start grounding yourself, you start you know, feeling connected, you know, when you feel connected to things, it's like, that's what living is. And so I do feel like, you know, that's what also kind of heightened, you know, um, you know, kind of made your, 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 your intuition sharper, you know, you grew some more sensitive to energy. Um, look at that. I didn't even see the queen of cups in my hand. And this is what the queen of cups is very intent, intuitive, very intelligent. You know, but I also feel like, you know, that situation, you healed from it, but the, it didn't take your, take you off your, your throne. You know, this is reaching a level of self mastery. You are guarded because your chalice is closed, but you're still a queen. You, you just had to adjust your crown. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're masculine, you just had to adjust, adjust your crown and you had to learn to live 
for you to not let anyone live vicariously through you. Um, and that's what required you to do those deep dives. You're in the water and the water runs deep. So I feel like your emotions ran deep for these individuals, whoever these were, lovers, friends, family, um, you know, that was overbearing, pompous and controlling, but you healed. Um, you're definitely learning to balance your emotions. You're definitely in that level of self mastery. And it's because you trusted your own intuition. You are, you know, kind of like, um, you know, still, uh, you know, healing, you know, if you will. Um, from this, but you, you, you can't take away the work, um, that you've gone through. See that temperance, good things take time to create. So you, you really, really was patient. You know, this is like I said, patience is a form of action. And remember, I kept picking up on the word activity. So I felt like you was very proactive and this is what is required when the, when temperance comes around, when this angel comes around, it's literally about divine timing being of, um, you know, being of importance. And I feel like this also allowed for you to uh, do your internal work, to do your deeper dives, um, and to also focus on healing the self. Uh, this is about, you know, balance. If you look, um, she has one foot in the water and then one foot on ground. So this is about, you know, being not only emotionally balanced, but also being grounded and, and learning to um, be in alignment with your higher self, uh, paying attention to the signs, synchronicities that is coming through from the divine. This crown chakra is, you know, really activated. And so I do feel like, you know, this sense of, you know, you know, you, 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 your, your senses, spidey senses and your intuition and your, um, clairvoyance was more, was more um, accentuated, it was more amplified, especially being this, you know, this queen of cups, you know, she's very psychic, very intuitive. And so we have um, Elle Varner and it's called Pour Me. Um, so I do feel like you're gonna be pouring um, some libation, you know, pouring some champagne to, to cheers, to toast, to your new success, because uh, this is called Pour Me um, by Elle Varner. So yeah, and you're in your power. So yeah, see that? And even here, there's pouring. So, you know, this is you also, like I said, just balancing your own emotions, healing thyself, you know, and that, that was your doing, you know, and you had a lot of assistance doing that. Your angels assisted you, you know? So look at this, this is you making a power move, moving away. Didn't I say some of y'all had to relocate? Some of y'all changed your numbers, addresses, Changed your friends groups, cut everybody off and, 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 you know, planted seeds elsewhere, you know, set up, set up shop somewhere else. And this is a position of power, you know, taking that position to, to, um, go towards your dreams. And that was the best thing for you because it's leading to some level of success. And it's because you're getting away from this greedy, toxic ass energy from these snakes and wolves and sheep's clothing. Um, we have a card here, Justice. Remember Karma Dharma. Karma Dharma flew out. And this was another message for you will be the first um, millionaire. This was the message I was supposed to pull out because it flew over there and I forgot it because I was building on the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. But this is your karma, you know, because this is falling underneath. You will be the first millionaire in your family. And that's why I said there's going to be celebratory moments because you got Elvarna saying, poor me. So your action, you being proactive, you keeping your eyes on the prize, you planting those seeds, you not giving up, you persevering through the pain, transmuting that shit into power, is why you're now perceiving karmic justice. There's going to be some news that comes in, a truth that's going to be revealed, and it's good news. I feel like things are going to be fair and just, and I feel like you took appropriate action. This is why you have redemption here, the sweetest joy. So this is you literally like uprooting, relocating, planting seeds, and it's going to be like your safe space, your safe haven. This is a place of peace and tranquility that you are moving in. You're moving in a direction. Remember, you had positive movement forward, and that's absolutely what this reminds me of. So this is your karma, karma dharma. You reap what you sow. When you sow in good faith, then you have material harvest to look forward to, you know, Look at this. I can't make this up. Somebody's returning. This is you reuniting with, you know, someone from your past. This is like, again, this is like cheers. This is celebratory moments. This is spending time with family, friends, you know, reconnecting, as I said. And we have best friends. So maybe some of you all 
Um, you may be re reconnecting or hanging out with some of your best friends, some of your best girlfriends, best guy friends, you know, just kicking it, reconnecting. Um, you know, just kind of like, you know, just enjoying the holy days. Okay, nothing fell, so I'm going to pop those back in. Give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Oh, snap. This person may be rushing in because this energy just like plopped out of my hand. So this person may be rushing in. Somebody that's going to become your best friend. Maybe this is going to be like your homie lover friend. Is this somebody that you're going to have that type of connection with? Because we did see, you know, you have the Ten of Cups. These two people, you know, they build a strong friendship, strong foundation. And it evolves, you know, into this beautiful um, family dynamic. You know, and we do see positive movements forward. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, why is treat yourself, um, uh, nature, and positive movements forward here? <clears throat> so we got the Ten of Swords. So that's why you're moving positive. You're moving away from the betrayal, the backstabbing, the lies, the deception, the greed, the envy, the hate, the snakes, the lies, the cheaters, the backstabbers. You're moving away from that. And you're moving towards a brighter day, a fresh start, a new beginning happiness joy you're very optimistic i feel like you're going to start making new friends because we got best friend and i do feel like you're going to start meeting your soul tribe soul family scorpios look at this you got the three of wands so this is something you've absolutely manifested and it's because this is about that ready set go so before you take action you got to plan you got to prepare you got to strategize and i feel like whatever petitions you sent up whatever prayers whatever candle magic you did something's now coming in it's like you can see these ships docking so you this is like law of attraction also you manifesting something with your intention and it's because you've turned your back on all of the difficulties the lies you you know this is you being done you know by you being betrayed this way by you going through this by you having this type of pain this is a painful painful loss painful ending feeling like used abused unappreciated devalued even you know some of y'all literally was like you know just smited you know people was gunning for you haters praying on your downfall trying to take you out snuff you out and this is why you had that energy you know but your spidey senses as i said highly intuitive that you are you was able to pick up on that energy you was able to um, you know, pick up on the fact that you had some folks that was really not trusting you. That's why you turned your back. You left these two wands behind, these people who had you confused, stuck in a fork in the road and playing mind games, wanting to be passionate, wanting to be in and out, unreliable, gaslighting, un, you know, just un, just unreliable, um, immature. You, you, you're, you're embarking on a new beginning. You're holding on to just one staff, and that's what this new beginning is. You know, you're, you're going towards which, what's best for you now. You're no longer putting other people before you. You know, your best friend is you, yourself, and you. Best friend is like you worried about you, yourself, and you. You know, see this? You got the Knight of Cups and you got the Six of Pentacles. So there's like someone coming in to make a generous offer. But this is a knight. So this is somebody who also could be just coming in for a good time, not a long time. So you have to use your intuition, use discernment. Uh, maybe this is someone who could be apologizing for potentially um, breadcrumbing you along in the past, not giving you time and energy. But remember, you had deception, tricknology on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be coming in to emotionally manipulate you. Uh, they still have somebody else, um, you know, that they are giving to. So they could come in to give to you and then give to someone else. So they're still going to be kind of like juggling. But here we got the scales over this person's face, I mean, over this person's head. So I do feel like in the past, this could have been the situation you was in where you was kind of like a beggar, you know, uh, wanting somebody's time, wanting somebody's energy, but they've given it to someone else. And now somebody's trying to come in to apologize. This also could be like some you receiving some assistance, some blessing um, that you've been hoping for, um, receiving some stuff, some generous, somebody making some generous offer. Um, this is also about you know, like you being stable, you know, you having some, some sense of stability. We see the seven, so you're making progress in whatever it is that you are doing. Um, you're going to see a lot of um, progress, uh, and it's because of your hard work. And we see this will all be worthwhile on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to use these to further clarify, and then we're going to wrap it up for real, for real. Um, this is petal fl uh, flower petals. So we got free uh, freesia. This is called, this will all be worthwhile. And then Lily, good partnerships are made of equal amounts of positivity. And so that's why I was saying you had to disconnect from somebody who was an energy vampire to come into a union with somebody who is best suited for you that speaks your love language. This flew out, so I'm going to take this. And it says uh, hyacinth, hyacinth 
and it's called play, laugh, and find joy. So that's what you, maybe this is the divine telling you, you know, to take that leap of faith, to have fun, to be adventurous, spontaneous. Um, but this is also saying, you know, by you loving yourself, healing yourself, you have new love coming in. So maybe they want you to be more receptive, be open, um, not be so guarded. Just, you know, be like, you know, be willing to take a risk because it leads to something, you know, this new beginning could absolutely, um, you know, develop here. And we have... Um, Michael Jackson, Human Nature, and it was just 11-11, and I, as soon as I looked at it, it turned to 11-12. Um, so 11-11, your divine masculine is coming in, and the divine wants you to take a leap of faith by Human Nature. Um, you know, the name of this song, uh, I do feel like um, things are going to be very natural the way this happens. It's going to be very organic. I feel the way you and this person will um, not only... Uh, come into union, but even just the whole courting process, you getting to know them, then get them getting to know you, uh, the conversations, it's going to just feel very authentic, very natural. Uh, because remember, nature also uh, came out. So I do feel like you're going to just, you know, have this natural chemistry, this natural, you know, like you're going to have the nice little banter back and forth. Um, we have Frisia. This will all be worthwhile. So I feel like, you know, everything that you've gone through, the divine is saying you didn't go through this for nothing. Um, this is definitely leading you into a spiritual path. So you have to trust the process. The divine is proud of you, Scorpios, for trusting the process because most Scorpios um, can be very territorial, very... Um, overprotective so we tend to try to control situations as well um but i feel like a lot of you all just kind of relinquish the control which is how you were able to be more righteous and more just in your actions towards those individuals that you know uh were gunning for you you didn't stoop to their level you didn't come step down off your throne and put your freaking uh, crown down to address them folks you left that to the divine you left that to you know um, to karma <laughs> so what we have here is tulip and it says you are worth what it is you desire so this is about knowing your worth and knowing your value and that's absolutely what led you to making that decision um, in this love partnership that was keeping you um, in the space of boredom um, mental conflict sadness depression um, feeling alone, uh, feeling unappreciated, feeling unseen, um, just feeling unloved even, um, you know, and also feeling like controlled, restricted, um, you know, uh, so I definitely feel like by you learning your worth and value that did show, you know, these, these, these devils, this devil energy that, um, love, 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 uh, always wins. You know what I'm saying? When you love yourself, that is what is going to transmute um, all negativity, you know, your love for self. That teaches other people that they can't mishandle you. That teaches people how they can treat you. And so they are, um, this person's learning a tough lesson because they thought whatever the spell was they had on you or the illusion they had, whatever manipulation they was able to uh, mind fuck you with, that shit all dissipated. Like you see clearly now, it's like, oh, like the sun came out, the rays is beaming on you. And it's because you got those divine, divine downloads. And that's what led you to, um, you know, trusting um, in your um, intuition to move away from that. Um, you also knew it was human nature for people to, you know, to uh, disappoint you. And I feel like that's another reason why uh, you didn't, you didn't stoop to the level because it's almost like, you know, someone was showing you they weren't emotionally intelligent. So it's like you can't you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip like my grandmother used to say. So it's almost like you just relinquished it all together. So forget me not always remain true to your intention. See that? And that's why you led to this relationship change. I literally said this shit verbatim. And that's also why this redemption is here because you started to focus on yourself. This green speaks to loving yourself. This blue is about those deep conversations you was having with yourself, but also the divine was having with you. Blue deals with the throat chakra. That's the color of the throat chakra. So I feel like the divine was telling you, love yourself, heal yourself, focus on yourself, focus on your family, your stability, your career, your, your goals. Because the blue chakra, the throat chakra is not just about expressing uh, communicatively. It's also about artistic expression, your creative expression. It's about your way of expressing who you are. And because you've been through so much pain and had to transmute it, you learn to, to express yourself through something creative, such as crafting candles, making spiritual kits, making music, 
writing songs, blogging, being a tarot card reader, being an artist, doing nails, doing hair, uh, being a barber, being a boxer, being a writer, being a musician, whatever it was, that's how you was able to change your circumstance. This is powerful. Right now we have 50 bars and this is by Champ MC. So now you are definitely the champ in the divine's eyes. Like you have won over this person. Cause as I said before, it was like this person won the battle, but you won the war. So you are the winner. You like, you are the champion of the circumstance because you was going against somebody very, um, like I said, this could be even like somebody narcissistic who thinks everything is about them. You know, somebody who's, you know, very, um, much, uh, uh, you know, uh, a dictator. And I feel like, you know, with forget me not, I feel like you didn't forget who you were, uh, because you know, you couldn't, you know, when you got the divine giving you divine downloads and you having constant synchronistic acts or constant, um, encounters with spirit animals or whatever your day-to-day -day encounters were, whether they were sensations, tickling noses, uh, feeling, you know, a presence, seeing lights, seeing images in the clouds, whatever it was that woke you up. I feel like that's what led to you uh, channeling that energy to something creative. So, you know, you remain true to yourself. Uh, you didn't waver in that regard. And the divine is very proud of that. And that's you, you know, taking your power back, um, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and not selling yourself short for anyone. So divine spirit of love and light, why is redemption song? Why is um, relationship change off authority and ten of cups? And this is called buttercup. And it says, be ready. The best is on its way. So look at that. And this is absolutely the best. The ten of cups, it don't get no better than that. This is emotional fulfillment and happiness. This is you meeting your divine masculine and feeling very fulfilled. You growing with this person, not only, you know, together, but growing business. You know, having someone um, who's going to put a ring on your finger. Um, who's going to want to commit, who's going to want to invest, who loves you, who takes your children in um, as their own, who's going to be that divine masculine or that alpha male or that father figure or that mother figure or that al alpha female that's going to be very nurturing and very paternal and loving and caring. This is your redemption is that you're having your wish fulfillment after all. So that's why I was saying earlier, it's like almost like literally it's like you had to kiss a frog to get to this, to the, to get to the king, fuck a prince, get to the king, to get to the queen, you know, and with champions still rhyming 50 bars, you know, I feel like for real, like this is literally, you know, um, you're championing this, like this is you in this, this breakthrough status, like you're having major victory. We got Rose here. You are divinely loved and protected with grace. This is how you started to focus on healing yourself and loving yourself because you knew you were being protected. You knew your ancestors, your angels, you knew when you were calling them that they were there for you. This is why this color, this green is fully green. This card is fully green because this speaks to love, you know, emotional fulfillment. And you, this four, oh man, that four is about you being very stable within yourself, very grounded. This is like, you know, life. This is the color of life, of, of foliage. You know, this is growth. This is how much you've grown emotionally. But this also is the number four, which is 1111. You coming into that divine union, that divine, that spiritual union, that yin yang energy. And it's because you went deeper. You took internal self audits and healed thyself and you trusted your intuition. You used your discernment and that's what led to you maintaining your crown, being in a space of self mastery because you did that internal work. You're reflecting on, you know, what happened in the past, but this is more so in awareness and self-awareness, not just moping and pining and ruminating because we see clearly that you've moved on. You're making the decision to move away, to move on and to create a safe haven for yourself. And it's because of, you know, this love and protection that you felt not only within you yourself or for yourself and your situation over your children, but what you felt coming from the divine. This is beautiful. And we have triumphing. And this is by Wu-Tang. So you are triumphing. Like I said, you're the victor. You're the victor, Scorpios, man. This is powerful. And you're moving forward triumphantly. This is powerful movements forward. This is making a decision to move on with your life, to get away from all the toxicity. Why is go deeper? 
crown chakra perseverance and um queen of cups thank you spirit and so we have iris and it says spend your creative spread your creative wings and take flight i literally said that's what the going deeper was it led to not only discovering what you needed to heal but also led to you discovering what your creative gifts were, what your passions were, what skills you needed to hone and focus in on more, what skills you needed to master. This is like studentship, you know, this green, you know, this perseverance. That's how you do that, by channeling the energy, you know, transmuting the pain, turning it into power. This is about co-creating with source. That's literally what you did. Self-mastery. This is, this is a very successful queen. She's very loving, nurturing, and caring with everything she does. So like I said earlier, you are in the craft, you know, you are very eccentric, you know, and you're skilled, you're skilled, you're very psychic and, and your, your creative, your creativity is absolutely what's leading to the abundance, to the prosperity that's coming in for you all. So why is you will be the first millionaire, um, physical activity power and justice here for scorpios thank you spirit and we have magnolia and it says you will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage and your heritage for many of you all it is your birthright obviously to be successful because i feel like it is your soul's purpose and life's path path to be someone in the crafts a spiritual practitioner a master teacher a healer shaman reiki master yogi a singer a writer an artist a producer you're, you know, an author or this is, this is your birthright. So it's like you are doing something that is, you know, what you were called to do, meant to do. This is a part of, you know, your destiny. And I feel like you're going to receive justice. This is like karmic justice. This is like things working out in your favor. And it's because of the good deeds that you did in the past and I feel like, you know, a lot of you stay true to yourselves or like I said, um, some of you broke yokes and generational curses and hexes and cut, you know, spiritual ties. And, you know, this is that action, you know, you putting those things into action. That 13 that the 67 reduces to, that represents the death card in traditional tarot. So, you know, the death of those relationships, those connections, that version of yourself is why you're now in this powerful position. It's because of the transformation that you've gone through and you're receiving karmic justice for that. Congratulations. Bottom of the deck, we got carnation. It says, keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable. And so that's what you're doing. You're looking upward and onward. You know, this is what that keep going is. This is the positive movements forward. You're not looking back. Definitely not for no toxic shit. You're definitely not looking back for anybody that did this or try to breadcrumb you, or try to puppeteer you along, play games, mind fuck, have you on this merry-go-round. Remember you had round and round, somebody playing games, trying to keep you stuck in cycles and in a loop, you know? Nobody got time for that. You're not in the twilight zone, so why should you be in a relationship that resembles such? So here we have sunflower, and it says practice courage each day. So this is what you're doing. You're taking your power back. You know, you're being more assertive. You're standing erect. You're speaking your truth. You're talking from your chest. You're saying what you mean. And you're also taking care of you now. And you're doing so unapologetically. You bind yourself. Remember, self-love is the best love. That's what you've come to realize. And loving yourself is by you always exuding power. Always owning your power. Always, you know, not over-exerting it, but, you know, just emanating it, you know, not even emanating it, but radiating love, light. But this is you, strength, courage, and wisdom. It took some strength to get through this, you know, but I feel like your nature walks and those nature talks definitely helped you. And I also feel like for many of you, you know, just grounding yourselves led you to being uh, very connected um, to source, like the divine definitely was sending you clear messages that it was time for you to move away. And for some of y'all, it required, you know, some courage to do so, some strength. This is the same energy as this, you know, making a decision to move on, making a decision to finalize that divorce, making the decision to, you know, take these, that last sword out of your bath and cut yourself free, you know, from the karmic cords that you was bound to. Right now we have adolescence, J. Cole. So you was dealing with, you know, a lot of immaturity. 
Maybe you was dealing with a lot of childhood issues, you know, fighting a lot of those demons, cutting, you know, like really, you know, cutting yourselves free from things, from karmic debts from the past. But with this practice, Courage Every Day, that's what you did. And that's why you're now coming into, you know, this material harvest, being rewarded for your efforts. And the divine sees that. And now we have um, on the bottom of the deck, Frangipani. Frangipani. And it says, you are truly beautiful on the inside and out. And that's absolutely what this is saying here. And that's why you have some folks that are hating, that are jealous, envious. And, um, you know, it's because you are beautiful. Your beauty in every fashion of the word, you know, external as well as internal or internal as well as external, however you want to, you know, say it. But this is how the divine sees you. This is how others see you. And this is why you will be very attractive to all that you may come across. I feel like your power is very, very magnetic. It's very magnetic. But this is your reading, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I hope that the reading resonated. I will you all have a beautiful, beautiful Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Um, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your time with your family and friends. Um, I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. And if, if you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, Ashe. Peace.